Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline is TJ Haas uh, via Skype. TJ, welcome to the show. We appreciate you uh, working us into your schedule, a very unique situation. Uh, let's start with this question. How's your family and life as a new dad? Oh, it's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to spend a little more time at home, and so I uh, get to be around the little man and Lauren, which is it's been awesome. I like your background picture here, a photo. It, fe it feels like we're on a bridge. I, l I like that. It's good. I know. My, w my wife served in New York, so she got a Brooklyn Bridge back here. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. It's better than Jimmer's background. He had some nice uh, pictures up, but I, I, I'm having like a 3D experience right now. Um, obviously, we want to dive into what happened the last couple of weeks, but let's start with today. We're talking to you today. Today would have been, and it, you know, Lenardi projected uh, Albany at 1240. Right now, you'd be three minutes into the game. Emotionally, how are you coping with with this right now? Today would have been the day. I know these days are hard. Today's hard. You know, Sunday was hard. Um, I'm trying to keep my mind occupied. I have a lot of school to do. I'm, I'm spending time with family. Uh, if I if I think too much about it, I think I just start crying. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's, Try not to think about it too much. And it's been hard uh, just as, you know, fans of the game, right, to, to not have those. Um, what, what was it like on, um, on Sunday, Selection Sunday, when, when Mark Pope sent out that video uh, voiced by the CBS guy? I know, it was, you know, it was, it was super cool to be able to see that. It's something you, you've dreamed of, you know, since, since being a little kid. And so to be able to see it was super cool. It was also heartbreaking because – you know, we, we put so much work into this year and, and we really earned that spot. And so, I don't know, to, to see it was cool, but man, it's just hard. I feel like we should we should be three minutes into our game right now, just like you said. TJ Haas with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, walk us through a timeline of your last week and the emotional spectrum that you have run through. A timeline? Um, as far as just everything that's happened? Yeah, let's start uh, there. You get back from Vegas, yeah. <laughs> Came back from Vegas. Um, you know, we that we had a travel day, and then the next day we came in and kind of had a little workout. And um, during the workout, that was when the rumors were floating around that uh, there wouldn't be any fans at the tournament, and that was kind of weird. Uh, we we're like, that's going to be super weird playing in front of nobody, but you know, at least at least we're still doing this thing. And then the next day we had a team meeting. And that morning, you know, they they started canceling, you know, all the conference tournaments and things like that. And so, you know, my phone was, I had a bunch of people texting me asking if this, this thing was going to get canceled. And, you know, all signs were pointing to, to yes. And, you know, we had that meeting later that day and uh, we found out together as a team. And it was, it was just super hard, you know, coach told us and we, we kind of sat in silence for a little while and, it's one thing that's just it, it's hard to swallow it's unprecedented it's no one's there, there's nothing really to say there's you know no one's ever really been through it so nobody knows really what to say so it's just one of those things that's just it's super odd it's super it's super weird no one really knows what to think about it it would stink um no matter what kind of season BYU you had right when, when you're playing oh you know no 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 chance were we on the boat but this year was like, you're totally in. Lenardi revealed just a few minutes ago, TJ, that you guys would have been a true five, but a six with Sunday play there. Um, and, you, yep. you, it, and like you said, and, and we've done it to a certain degree too, we've avoided thinking too deeply about it because it would hurt, right? So at what point, and maybe you haven't, did you come to the realization that it is over and now I, now I got to deal with it in some way? And I, I don't really know if, you know, I've fully come to the realization that it that it's all over. Uh, the guys on the team keep talking, and it's it's just you know this this year has been so much fun, and the relationships on this team have been have been as good as they get. And I've had I've had so much fun on this team, and and I, I, we wanted to just go out with a bang and have you know one final run, and to have it all stop like it has, it's just. It's it's too hard to think about, and it, it's hard to think that you know this run with these guys, and it, it's all over. And it's interesting because we we thought okay, this team can legitimately win at least the first round, the second round. That's a good possibility, right? Only two teams have ever gone to the Sweet Sixteen. 
ESPN BPI does the simulation for whatever it's worth, um, and you get to the national championship game, it's like, man, we'll just we'll just never know, and that's really hard, right? And I'm mad we lost that game. We should <laughs> I said the same thing. I'm like, well, now I'm ticked. Why didn't we win the whole thing? Can't be with, come on, of course BYU is going to beat Wisconsin. TJ Haas with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, TJ, I, now one thing that your coach told us, and we talked to Jake Toulson as well, he said that that is okay to focus on is remembering the good things that actually did happen. So what will you remember most about this season's BYU basketball team? Yeah, uh, you know that we've we've talked about that as well, and it's it's just one of those seasons that we had, you know, so much adversity and so many ups and downs, and you know we had times that were as hard as they come, and times that were as good as they come, and you know we had a lot of extremely fun wins. Uh, you know, we had a senior night that is arguably the greatest senior night of all time uh, you know it, that was that was something super special and then we had a lot of fun wins on the road you know Maui all those things and then you know the list of adversity goes on and on with injuries and suspensions and you know all that tough stuff and it was just to, to have all that hard stuff and then our team just battled every single day and we just grew closer every single day and to just overcome that adversity and and earn the position that we did was was something so special and something that you know I felt like our whole team laid it all out on the line uh, every single night. And when when you're done with a season like that, you look back and there's there's no regrets. We 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 gave it all for this team and um, we put ourselves in a great spot to to make a great run. There was a time last year, TJ, after the season where I wonder what life was like for you mentally with the upcoming season, because there's no Yoli Childs coming back, right, um, at a certain time. There's no Jake Toulson. There's no Alex Barcelo. Um, maybe you thought, I might get 35 shots a game here. I don't know. But this, <laughs> this team came together in an amazing way and led by Mark Pope, right? And this culture develops, and you guys have an international trip. And then the, adver the adversity starts with Gavin's injury. Zach breaks his foot, and then Yoli, and so on. So what, what was it like emotionally from right after the season, you lo lose in a disappointing way in the WCC tournament, to where we sit now in terms of, wow, that was an amazing season? I know it's, it's, it's crazy how it all worked out. You know, I never would have imagined that it would have gone this way. Um, so, many, so many things happened when, when Coach Rose retired. It was there was so much unknown there, you know, you really didn't know anything that was going to happen the following year and it all piece by piece, it just came together. And, you know, we went on our trip to Italy and, and, you know, I felt like from there on, it was just, we, we just got better every single day. And it was just, it was just a year that I, I will never, ever forget. When, like when in the year did you think, Oh, we could be really good. Like for real. And the summer and uh, Italy, all those trips, I felt like we were going to make some serious noise this year. I knew this team was special. What What was it about the team that gave you that idea? You know, I felt like we just we just had guys that had 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 been through it, and we had veteran guys, and guys knew what it takes to win. And when you have guys like that, it's you know, guys were real, willing to just do anything to to help us get a win. And when you have all those pieces, um, guys willing to, to dive on the floor and, and come up with five rebounds. If we need five rebounds to win the game, that's what they're going to do. And we had so many of those guys. And, you know, when you have guys like that, it, it, it's, it's special. And uh, I think it showed all year. TJ, what does your basketball future hold when this pandemic calms down and games eventually resume? Um. You know, I'm I'm gonna keep playing basketball. I want to keep playing for as long as I can, and um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty for next year as well. So, um, just taking it one day at a time, trying to figure out you know my next step, um, but uh, trying to find creative ways to to stay in shape right now. <laughs> uh, Tyler was on earlier this week. He said he had Skype workouts with his team. That's different. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. You getting short on That's Skype? Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you're too long to do that. <laughs> TJ, you had so many iconic moments this season. Um, what's your favorite 
memory in terms of your highlights, uh, whether it's one of the buzzer beaters, it's you yamming on some guy from Weber State, uh, the alley-oop to Yoli to win in San Diego. What, what's your favorite memory or moment? And I feel like there were, you know, a lot of special special memories for me personally, and those don't come around very often. And to have a few of them in a season is was super cool, super special for me. Um, but it's hard to argue with, you know, the St. Mary's game and, you know, going to the hospital after that. That was that was a super cool experience, a super cool 72-hour experience that uh, I will never, ever forget. TJ, great to catch up with you, man. Uh, we wish you the best uh, amidst a very unusual time, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. You got it. TJ Haas on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. We're on the break.